Can you hear my voice? Okay. Yes. So good evening, everyone. This is the last session, so you're so tired, but I will do my best. So my name is Aimi Mukunoki, and she is a PRE doctor. We are doctor co-student of Hibo program at Kunoki University, and our major is medical science. It is very honor for us to attend this bioethics roundtable and discuss about bioethics with you. Today our topic is designer baby and bioethics. We choose the, the, this topic because I'm a scientist and my major, uh, my research team is a reproductive technology of mice. So I'm interested in this topic. And she is also a scientist and she is mother. She has a one child. One child. So today we would be glad to share the information about designer babies and our opinion. And I hope this session will be a good opportunity to discuss about this topic. First, what is the designer babies? It's very simple. The designer babies are the babies who are designed by the parents' will. Many parents want the babies which have good abilities, high intelligence, perhaps good looking. And how to make designer babies? We think there are two methods. First method is using the reproductive cell like sperm and oocyte, which are cryopreserved using liquid nitrogen. Cryopreserved means near freeze. Second method is using genome editing technique like CRISPR-Cas9. Have you ever heard this technique names? It's very famous scientific technique. As you know, usually it is defined that the designer babies are the babies who are derived from genome edited embryos. However, we think the babies who are born using other people's sperm and oocyte is also defined as designer babies. I show you an example of a sperm bank. This is a company in Denmark. The name is Cryos, which is the biggest sperm bank in the world. This company provides the sperm to all women around the world and it is said that the number of user increases to five times these ten, ten years. This is a detailed protocol of how to make the children using sperm bank. The company stores a sperm which is provided from donors who has some check about age, smoking history, and infection diseases, and so on. Depending on the company, the donors are also asked about their blood type, appearance, ability. Many overseas companies collect this information for women to choose a sperm in accordance to their desire. Then the company presents the information in their website and users can choose the sperm which has phenotype they want. Finally, the company packs the sperm and transfer to the hospital where they will have treatment. In Japan, only the couples who is recognized by the law suffer from infertility and whose health, mind, economic situation is stable can use this sperm bank. However, in other countries, all people, including single women and LGBT people, can use sperm bank to make children. There is no way. So I think it is possible to make children in accordance to parents' will. So it is a kind of this designer baby, I think. Second method is using genome editing system, like CRISPR-Cas9 system. This system was developed by Dr. Jennifer Gauden and Dr. Emmanuel Sherpan in 2012. Many scientists say 
they will be Nobel Prize winner before long. This system enables to remove unnecessary gene and gene introduction very easily. So we can use this system for producing genetic engineered animals like mouse, pig, monkey, and so on. We can't continue our experiment without this technique anymore. And the big point of this technique is we can use it for humans. So what is the purpose of making designer babies? We think there are two methods, uh, two, two purposes of it. One is medical treatment of genetic disease, diseases and getting resistance to infection diseases. Almost all people in this room know this news. Six days ago, the world's first genome edited child children were born in China. They are twins and have a resistance to HIV virus. Their parents choose the genome editing system because the father is a patient of HIV. And I think the big point is below. Some newspapers say uh, so some newspaper and news site says he did the experiment without admission of his university. And he says the parents take part in this experiment of their own accord. So parents wanted to use this system for making children. Now he has been criticized from many scientists, moralists and so on. So what do you think about this news? So back to former slide. The second purpose of making designer babies for improving appearance and ability. If the research about gene reveal about which gene is involved with child children's ability, CRISPR Cas9 system enables to improve children children's ability too. I think so we think these two purpose is a big purpose of this designer baby. Everyone, uh, from this part, uh, I will be continuing. Although she has already introduced the designer baby, uh, in how, how designer baby is uh, related to the CRISPR uh, Cas9, and also how it is, uh, what are the purposes of designer baby? But I would like to introduce you the pros the pro, uh, prospectives and the consequences of design babies. Uh, the designer baby, although there are some ethical disparagement, but we cannot seize the advancement of this technology. And the advancement is like, it will help to increase the life expectancy by reducing the chances of genetic disorders, like some uh, uh, Down syndrome, and there are some other uh, uh, diseases like Alzheimer disease, the Hamilton disease, and it also obesity, cancer, HIV positive, and these are the genetic disorders which can be uh, modified by this technique, and this can help to reduce the chances of various genetic disorder in our baby. So, uh, next is positive influence on the baby. Like we can also uh, give the healthy uh, life to our baby, and also we can introduce some genes which are related to the intelligences, and we can also look on the uh, their looks, their appearance, like uh, skin color and the uh, eye color and hair color also the physical ability which can uh, be prevented uh, by this technique and also we can detect the uh, we can uh, in uh, we can detect the sex in uh, our baby and uh, next is early control of the ch uh, child's lifestyle a child 
the way of thinking, overall development in influence by various factors like education, moral values, a way of living, religion, and many more. But parents who want to have designer babies prefer to influence their child by creating influence of similar kind even before he or she born. Next is contribution to the better understanding of genetic engineering. By this uh, creation, designer baby will contribute to the growing knowledge and better understanding of genetic engineering. And scientists hope that it will, uh, with this, this technology, more essential ideas and future scopes can be uncovered in the field of science. And now the consequences of designer baby. Although there are some positive things uh, using the genetic engineering used in on unborn babies, it is often wondered if the parent will have the right reason to genetically modify their babies. Here are some consequences associated with genetic engineering of babies, which are related to scientific and ethical and moral issues. First one is scientific issues, that it, this technology is not completely error free and could lead to the death of the unborn baby, may accidentally give rise of a uh, new form of illness that scientists are not yet aware of, may remove certain genes that could be good for the baby's overall development and growth. Next is ethical and moral issues. It can hamper the violence of our baby's right, like uh, takes away from child's individual personality and can create a marked gap in society. Uh, is not affordable by all. It is very costly and will create the class division where only the rich can afford designer babies. Next is a, uh, is a concrete comparison of pros and consequences of designer baby. First one is it is a advanced technology as we all know and second uh, and in the consequences um, it creates the disproportion between designer and non-designer babies. It prevents the genetic diseases and uh, in consequences, only in the experimental stage at this uh, point we can use and uh, reduces the risk of inherited me medical condition such as obesity, anemia, diabetes, cancer and many more. And in case of consequences, create a gap in society like which I already told, designer baby would most likely be better looking, smarter, etc. This would create some class between the designer and non-designer baby. Uh, it also prevents to, uh, to give their child a healthy life. Uh, sorry. Uh, it allows uh, parents to give their child a healthy life. And in consequences, because of this technology is very new and maybe some unknown uh, risk can be affected the, to the baby's gene. Uh, and it can cause the difficulties later on throughout the baby's family tree. And in clause, genetically engineering babies is an option, but it is not a requirement for all parents. In consequences, because most of people will seek out good looking intelligent babies with other um, optimum characteristics, everyone will be relatively similar. So look wise they <coughs> will look uh, similar. And installing a better understanding of genetic, uh, it's, uh, it's a very useful technique for the biologist or scientist. But in case of consequences, 
genetic engineering, uh, engineering is not a perfect always and cannot 100% properly evaluate every gene. They are, there are more than likely mistakes will be made. Next is ethical, some ethical issues of designer baby. The pros of creating designer baby often question because of its ethical reasons. The most aspect of considering in an ethical reflection on the production of designer babies are first is it can be the future human evolution. How it is suggested that the designer babies are created through genetic engineering that could have deleterious effect on the human genome which can affect the gene pool and it could be the risk of future human evolution. As the technique is not completely error free and, are, uh, and also used for treatment of genetic, uh, genetical disorder, so there is a risk of new disease which may be introduced accidentally. Next is designer baby is a very cost effective technique so it is only affordable for those who have money but the people who don't have money if they need in some extent cannot be able to afford so it is created some disbalance or imbalance in the society in future and next is unintentionally can be remove the gene which are important for baby's normal and essential growth. Lastly, also it can influence on baby's own personality and hamper the innocence of baby. In my conclusion, I want to conclude as this is a CRISPR-Cas9. As we all know, it is a very advanced and scientific, uh, very uh, useful technique for scientific uh, research field. But it, if we merge this technique with designer baby, it could not be protected from ethical issues. Like there might be some risk with babies uh, or babies, uh, some other disease can occur. And designer baby is a technique which in future may be interfere normal human tribe, which will be a great risk for our future generation. So it is better to address all the ethical questions. So here I would like to uh, show my references. And I will rest my speech here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now we'll have this session on this. Yeah, please. Uh, oh, sorry. Hello. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, I think uh, designing baby, uh, this is one sort of technology, uh, what we call biotechnology or genetic engineering, like these things. And uh, we are do doing bioethics here. So uh, that is interesting. You make a difference between uh, the contributions of uh, designing baby and the dangerous effect of designing baby, uh, what you call pros and cons. <coughs> but uh, my question is from bioethical perspective. Why in your analysis, uh, analysis the problem of uh, biotechnology or engineering, uh, bioengineering, all like these sorts of problems, we must have to first emphasize on some issues. For example, uh, for example, designing baby is simply a question of playing God. Playing God. For example, if any believer claims or theologist claim, claim that God has only super right to create the beings. So the people cannot make it differently. So how can we respond these problems from the designing gravitations? This is my first question. The second question is that uh, you discuss the pros and cons of designing baby, but 
there is a pros, there is a cons. But as a bioethicist or as a researcher of bioethics, how can we weigh in this problem or crisis? That's one kind of dilemma. I have some pros side of this creating, and there is another side of cons of this creating. But first of the side, I will take up, uh, my position. That is the one thing. Another thing is enhancement. Whether we are uh, encourage or enhance this sort of biotechnology, this is a very important issue. And the final thing is patenting. So, uh, how can we uh, deal with the issue of patenting regarding the issue of designing baby? All these are my questions. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Uh, the first of our, our presentation, we said we are scientists, so we want to use this technique for our experiment. Mm -hmm. We can't uh, continue our experiment without this system, so we should make some rules for this system. System in view from viewpoint of a scientist and viewpoint of the mothers and the moralist. So I think we should make some rules. So a big scientist find you doing uh, uh, designing baby. Uh, do you need any uh, clear physical appearance from the uh, institutional review board? Ethical. Clearance from the Institutional Review Board, IRB, Ethical Committee, Ethical Clearance. Uh, till uh, now, I think it's not ethically approved. Yes. But uh, which she has already told you, uh, all of us, that uh, it's already a designer baby is born in China. Yes. So I think uh, from that news, we can say that it is uh, ethically approved in uh, China. China. But uh, what is the scenario in Japan or in any other uh, uh, Asian countries? It is not ethically Experience. approved. Yet. Yeah, not yet experienced. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we don't know for maybe the possible ethical yeah. expositions yes. regarding this issue. Till now, it is on uh, this, uh, ethical yes. issues. It's ongoing ethical it, it issues. Ethically prohibited. Yes. yes. Please. Just a short comment because I think we are using some outdated idea about social relationship to describe the technology. There's, a, there's design, there's a product, there's service. You don't have baby anymore. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something designs, that's like your, your computer version, okay, 2.1, 2.2. There's no longer baby anymore. It's not a baby, it's much more clever than we do, and then we have nothing less in front of the system. So the whole idea of social relationship to describe, just ask who's the parents of the product, yeah. who's the designer. Even the designer will be, will be gone already because there's, the system will replace the designer. Yeah. Just like competition between mine and what's else. So the whole ideas of the scientific discovery to break through have to you think it still have a social relationship. No, no more social relationship. If if a so-called baby, if that live longer than you, is more clever than you, and then we don't need anything anymore. We don't need a conference, we don't need a studies, there's no hard working, you don't need hard working. All the social virtue, we, we, we trust that we have to hard working, we have to be beautiful, whatever. You don't need that's why just push a button something, it's some come come out. There's a surface, there's a product. It's, it's not human being, as you understand. So when we use the, the designer baby, we still think they are baby. They are not no, no more baby. Mm -hmm. It goes into the system, so it doesn't mean you're Chinese or, or, or different geographical, no meaning. Mm -hmm. It's a technology that is it's moving beyond our imagination. Even beyond our imagination, maybe survive with you, you have to confront with something that's uh, out around you. It's not just a physical in front of you, it's also network with the whole something. And that's interesting for me in terms of how the uh, 
social relationship or some form of relationship change. And that's the, the, the challenge, not just the ethical issue. The ethical issue just is just a, a firewall to, to prevent something, but the concept is much more interesting. Yes. So when you say designer, maybe a designer sent something. It's not a baby anymore. It's, 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 it's really something beyond my imagination. Uh, well, my question is that uh, is it correct to assume that uh, the baby is a designer baby already born in China, so it's basically accepted in China or not? Oh, yes, uh, because uh, it's a fact that the designer baby was born, but if the scientist was punished there, then it's denied. So it, it's not clear whether it's ethically and legally accepted yet. The baby was born, that is a different matter. Your comment? First question? Your comments on this question? Uh, I say maybe it is ethically approved in China, but I'm not also sure about this. So I don't know about their situation, current situation. In my understanding, he is going to be charged. Uh, I, I have a couple of questions. Um, yeah. Are, are you sure the baby exists? Okay. Has anybody seen the baby? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure it's not a fraud story? Yeah. But the paper is already published in Nature. Yes, and so how many papers have been fraudulent in Nature <laughs> before? <laughs> a lot. Have we seen the baby in the Nature paper? No. no. no not yet. So do we accept the paper if the baby exists? <laughs> I, I only believe it if I see it. Okay? So and you as scientists should also don't believe it just because it's in the journal nature. Okay? Yeah. We might publish papers in nature and done a lot of these, but are we sure these are real? We don't know. Okay? And uh, as uh, Professor Kamatsu said, uh, probably the scientist is charged because uh, the ethics guidelines in China, it is a breach of them. Okay. They're also against designer babies. So he's broken the general government guideline and he may have possibly gone, broken the institutional guideline. Um, but that's a question for you, Ben. As a scientist, if you are going to help somebody have a baby, Will you be happy to break the guideline to help somebody? I think it is important to make some guidelines to design a baby, but it is very difficult task because uh, thinking is very different from national country, religion is different. So I think it will take a long time to discuss about this problem and make some rules for each country, I think. Mm -hmm. So you, you also, uh, if you read the literature, you'll find that actually the variation of opinion about the kind of baby is across every country. And in the surveys of people in China, they tend to be more supportive of designer babies than in Japan. Uh, China and India are supportive, Thailand supportive. The studies I did in the 1990s and onwards. Okay. So it's interesting. But there's a variation in each country. In this room, who wants to have a designer baby? <laughs> yes? You wear designer jeans? Who wears designer jeans? These are designer jeans, are they not? Yes? So why not design your jeans for your baby? Why not? As a mother, maybe I will think like what you told now, but 
as a human being, I don't prefer. So, because maybe it will hamper and create some risk to my babies. Risk maybe it can be a new disease can occur. Also, it can be uh, some effect on my gene pool, the baby's gene pool, and it can be some some kind of other issues can occur. So it is unknown. So we cannot say what can happen. If we do something, like maybe some deleterious effect also can happen to your genes. Maybe some good genes, some bad Bad genes is okay if it goes, but some good genes, if it will go from your body, maybe it will hamper your baby's health, personality, and also the normal growth. So I don't prefer it. But as a scientist, I always prefer the CRISPR Cas9 because it is a very advanced technique. Thank you. Yeah. More comments? Yeah. Please. Uh, could please pass the mic, please. Pass the mic. And then Dr. Kerber. Uh, I have one question. I agree to your opinion. Uh, no, no. I agree to your conclusion, but uh, I don't agree to your following, following, following opinion in, in the uh, abstract. It's so costly technique that it may produce an equality in a society. Because in our daily life, we pay lots of money for our, for our children's future and do our best for it. So, is there any difference between our behavior and our daily life and use of this revolutionary technique? Um, I would like to say you that uh, maybe you are talking about the Japanese daily life. But if you see in India, they are not so rich. So if you see some family, they are not able to feed their child. So if you think about that point of view, it's very difficult. I, I told those words from that point of view. Like uh, if they are not able to feed their child, how can they provide that kind of technique, how they can buy those kind of technique mm. to improve their child's life. So I told from that point of view. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, so there are no further questions, perhaps we can congratulate uh, speakers for their very nice presentation. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so let me start. Introduction. The, according to the uh, 2012 the preliminary report of the Permanent Bureau of the Hague Conference on the Private Inter Law, the number of surrogacy arrangements entered into increase around a tenfold between 2006 and 2010 with the number of the cross-border surrogacy arrangements into increasing over this period. As if to reflect the cross-border surrogacy arrangement in this also increasing over this period. So as if to reflect this, there have been a series of cases brought before the courts where the couples have traveled abroad to enter into surrogacy arrangements in a country where surrogacy is permitted because it is prohibited in their own country and they try to recognize the parent-child relationship in their own state, which is recognizing other state between the child and intended parents. Such cases have been seen not only in Japan but also in European domestic courts as well as the European Court of Human Rights. 
Since a number of the surrogacy arrangements are entered into cross borders in this manner, the legal issues and situations are further complicated. Two particularly important legal issues surrounding surrogacy as follows. First, the regulation on the surrogacy. And second, legal status of the child born through surrogacy. The law concerning the surrogacy differs uh, widely between states. For example, the, the regulatory position differs considerably with some states prohibiting it completely and others permitting only altruistic arrangements, while others permit even commercial arrangements. So this report presents a legal issues relating the surrogacy in Japan through lens of the private international case law, and it will probably provide opportunity to think about how surrogacy arrangements should be handled. Okay. In the surrogacy in France and Germany section, in Europe and some states explicitly prohibit the surrogacy arrangements. However, the European Court of Human Rights has ruled in recent cases that such an approach violates Article 8 of the European Convention of Human Rights, which has put pressure on the states to prohibit surrogacy arrangements. In France, the surrogacy is prohibited, but it is an invalid under civil law and also attract criminal sanctions. This means that if surrogacy arrangements are entered into abroad uh, and the surrogate child and intended parents seek to transfer the birth certificate, recognize their child legal uh, parentage to French residency office, this will be refused. France has adopted the position whereby the legal uh, par uh, parentage will not be recognized even if the surrogacy arrangement are entered in the another state. However, uh, ECTH, the, I mean the, the European Code of Trans uh, Human Rights case of Manson uh, Lebanese case of 26 of June 2014, where so the couple of entered into the surrogacy abroad, the court found the violation of the ECHR on the part of France and urged France to rectify the legal situations. In Germany, the surrogacy is explicitly prohibited by law, was it also attracting criminal sanctions? The Child Law Reform Act, which came into force in July 1998, inserted provision in Section uh, 1591 of the German Civil Code to, effect, to the effect that the child mother shall be women who give birth to a child. The reason behind the new registration was to clarify the rule recognizing women who <coughs> give birth as a mother and thus helps to curtail the uh, surrogacy arrangement. The traditionally, the German courts have ruled that legal uh, parentage established in another state as a result of surrogacy arrangement entered into another state constitute a violation of public order. However, in, in a 2014 case where intending parents were same-sex couple, uh, Germany ruled that decision of California state court to recognize a legal parentage between a couple and child born in the USA as a result of surrogacy arrangement did not breach public order and that it could be approved from the perspective of child welfare. The court held that the legal parentage between the intended parents and child should be recognized represent, representing a definite change of direction. Now, case in Japan. In Japan, there is not yet any legislation that directly provides for the surrogacy arrangement or other types of assisted reproduction. It is governed by the uh, self-regulatory rules of the Japan Society of Obstetrics and uh, Gynecology, a uh, 2003 uh, report by the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare Health uh, Science Council set out that surrogacy arrangement should be prohibited with the penalties attached. The same year, the Society of uh, Obstetrics and Gynecology published another report <coughs> prohibiting its uh, members from conducting or participating in the mediation of surrogacy arrangement, regardless of whether payment was exchanged. This was followed by the interim plan issued by the Working Group on the uh, uh, Assisted Reproductive Technology of the Legislative Council of the Ministry of Justice to establish provisions based upon the premise that surrogacy arrangements are prohibited. Recognizing the women who give birth to the child as a mother, 
in 2005, the case was brought before Japanese courts for the first time concerning couple in their 50s who had acquired twins as a result of surrogacy arrangement in the US. In 2006, the Tokyo High Court admitted the ruling of the state court in Nevada to recognize the legal parentage between a child born through the surrogacy, surrogacy and Japanese married couple as a intended parents. However, the Supreme Court overturned the decision uh, quashing the Nevada judgment as violating public order, sorry, and, and issues its own judgment. Judgment of second petty bench of the Supreme Court of March 23rd, 2007. In 2008, uh, the Committee of the Science Council of Japan set up, the, in, set up to investigate assisted reproduction published a report commissioned by the Minister of Justice and the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare titled The Issue of the Assisted Reproduction Centered on Surrogacy Toward the Social Consensus. The report made recommendations such as one, the issue of surrogacy uh, that can no longer be neglected and legal provision are required, while in the meantime surrogacy should be prohibited in principle. Second, the surrogacy arrangement uh, for the commercial purposes should be punished, with the doctor performing the procedure, the mediator, and the intended parents subject to penalties. Third, however, the surrogacy arrangement under strict supervision could be considered on a trial basis while this is limited to women born without a womb and women who have undergone medical treatment to have their womb removed. So 10 years have seen passed since, but there are still no signs of legislation being enacted. The approach and the legal environment surrounding surrogacy in Japan is set up about the since uh, the Supreme Court judgment is positioned as an extremely important case concerning surrogacy, I would also like to present a case below and provide information from legal perspectives. So it's a Japanese case judgment, okay? So uh, Apologies, uh, the uh, Apologies uh, are a Japanese couple married in, since 1994. In 2000, the wife had surgery for the cervical cancer where her womb was removed. Contemplating the possibility of a later surrogate pregnancy, her uh, ovaries were moved to protect them from their radiation therapy. In 2003, after two failed early attempts in the U.S., healthy eggs from the wife and sperm from her husband were extracted. Um, and successfully fertilized in a clinic in Nevada, subsequently, the fertilized eggs were successfully implanted in a surrogate mother. Immediately following their successful implantation, the athletes uh, entered a formal surrogacy contract with a surrogate mother and her uh, partner. The contract provided that surrogate mother would carry the child to birth, that upon birth their at least the couple would be the legal parents of the resulting child and that the surrogate couple would have no rights or obligation in relation to the child. Then on 23rd November 2003, the surrogate mother gave birth to healthy twins and at least immediately took custody of the child children. On the 1st of December 2003, a police couple filed a proceeding with a family court division of Nevada State District Court, court nominally against a uh, surrogate uh, couple seeking a declaratory judgment from the court confirming the terms of surrogate surrogacy contract, namely the police couple were the legal parents of the children and the surrogate, sur surrogate couple had no rights or obligation in relation to children. The court subsequently issued a declarative judgment, uh, the court Nevada judgment, recognizing this average couple as a biological and legal parent, and all the birth certifications in the U US to be issued that reflect this. In January 2004, the average couple accompanied back to Japan with the two children, and on 22nd January 2004, the uh, Abris Cabal sought to register the birth of the children with Shinagawa City Office. And on 28th of May 2004, the office of the Mayor Shinagawa, Shinagawa denied the registration, noting that the wife could not be recognized as having 
even birth the children and that parent-child relationship was not legitimate. The summary of the judgment. First, a judicial decision rendered by the foreign court acknowledging the uh, establishment of natural parent-child relationship between the parent persons who are not eligible for the such relationship under civil code is contrary to the public policy as the prescribed in Article 1188, a time item three of the Code of Civil Procedure and therefore not effective in Japan. Second, in the case where the woman has conceived and delivered a child by way of assisted reproduction technology using the other woman's egg, the mother of the child is a woman who has conceived and delivered a child, and the mother-child relationship cannot be established between the child and the woman who has not conceived or delivered a child, even where the child is born using eggs donated by that woman. And the discussion and conclusion. The conclusion of Japan's Supreme Court has been positively received by the several commentators with a process of legislative development concerning surrogacy arrangement uh, heading towards prohibition and the situation being akin to surrogacy being prohibited. The reject of the Nevada State Court ju uh, judgment in the absence of the position being set out in law would constitute a demonstration of rules governing certain facts, which would be very influential in terms of the domestic legal order. Also, as set out in the uh, supplementary opinion to the Supreme Court judgment, a child born through the surrogacy arrangement can, be re can receive legal protection through the process of adoption. However, Germany and France changes, uh, changes in the legal situation, and these countries have more strict approach to surrogacy than Japan. So can we say that it has not influenced the Japanese government? Uh, sorry, arguments. So even if the surrogacy is prohibited under <coughs> domestic law, the European case law shows that the couple will continue to travel to other states where surrogacy is legally permitted in order to acquire a child. Any legislative uh, developments, therefore, need to consider um, not only a setting out rules regarding recognition of the mother, but also how to deal with parentage between the intended parents and child children acquired as a result of cross-border surrogacy arrangements. It could be argued that the current Japanese approach recognizing our legal parentage after surrogacy through the process of adoption places a burden on the child rather than on the, the intending parents themselves. So legal adoption is a system intended to benefit the child. This is a very different from surrogacy, which is a system that originally uh, operates to benefit the intending parents. I therefore have doubts about transferring this uh, disadvantage to child. On the other hand, affirming the direction seen in Europe, other countries outside Japan towards recognizing their legal parentage between children born as a result of surrogacy and their intending parents could serve to provide, promote uh, reproductive tourism. So this is where there are limits as to efforts that a state can <coughs> make on its own to address this problem. So it is of course necessary to deal with any children born this way from the perspective of child's welfare. Doubts themselves remain concerning a legal system that permits surrogacy arrangements the surrogacy arrangements do not always involve happy cases of intending parents wanting to establish a legal parentage with the child. The reality is that in some cases, none of the part, uh, parties involved wish to be recognized as parents. The main point is that consideration should be given to the ensuring that child is not left without mother or absolute guardian to take care of it. That's it. That's end of the Thank you. Thank you very much. After all, the paper is not yet.